All right, we are on section 5.7, dividing fractions and mixed numbers. And what I want you to do is, go, first of all, go ahead and copy this down. And uh, so hit pause and do that. All right, looking at this, whoops, looking at this, you will see that it is 2 divided by 1 fourth. And the issue is that a lot of students look at this and say, well, how can I get an answer of 8 if I am dividing 1 fourth by 2? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Um, so give you a better example of that are the pictures. okay? And if you've got 2 and you're dividing it into fourths, okay? Uh, if you've got two holes, two whole pizzas, you could say, and you're dividing them into fourths now you can the question is how many of these fourths do I have and it is a total of eight which when you are doing that you can't actually divide when you are solving this so the first step again is two over one you've got to make them into fractions first just like you did with multiplication and then you are going to take the division sign and change it to multiplication. Okay? And you are going to flip, meaning the reciprocal, of that second fraction only, which now makes it 4 over 1, which is actually 2 times 4, which gives you 8. Okay? And as you look at this, if you were to say you're dividing it by 1 fourth, it's two divide or two times since it's making them into fourths four of them two times four that's how we got the eight for the answer but this is the really important part right here that you need to learn and understand and remember you're only doing this when you are dividing okay it is only for division problems if there's a multiplication sign already there then you would not do any of that Okay, you would leave it as is. So, uh, in doing this, um, once again, you are going to change from division to multiplication and then f reciprocal of that second fraction. So let's try a few. Go ahead and hit pause and solve this. Since these are already fractions, you don't have to do anything to them. So you get 3 fourths, I'm going to rewrite that, change this to multiplication, and then the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is going to now be 2 over 1. You can now cross reduce, okay? And I suggest that again, that you are always cross reducing, and this is going to be dividing by 2, which makes it 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now we have to make sure we write this in simplest form, which is going to give me 1 and 1 half. Okay? And again, how are we getting 1 and 1 half? Simply by dividing. It goes into it one time, subtract. Your remainder is your numerator. What you divided by is your denominator. Okay? Let's go ahead and look at our next fraction. And remember, my little um, side note on this, must make them fractions first. Go ahead and do that. So we get 2 thirds. And we are keeping the division sign in here because you need to make it a fraction first. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 thirds. If we don't get into the habit of this, we always find ourselves to where we think we flipped this and we did not. So now rewrite it, changing it to multiplication, reciprocal of the second fraction, which is now 3 tenths. We can now, since it's multiplication, cross reduce. You cannot cross reduce until it is, not, until it is a multiplication problem. So now we're dividing these by 3, which gives me 1. Divide 2 divided by 2 to give me 1, and 10 divided by 2 gives me 5. Now 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 5 is 5 to give me 1 fifth. OK? 
okay please again make note of this if you are having questions and not getting them correct or understand why you didn't get the right answer go ahead and hit pause and solve this as well so now I have 6 times 2 which is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 2 again rewriting it so that I have fractions first before I do any reciprocals 7 times 3 is 21 plus 5 more is 26 over 7 now I need to um, change it to multiplication leaving the first fraction as is multiplication and reciprocal which is going to give me 7 26 look for any common factors between the diagonals and uh, 13 and 26 do have common uh, factors which is 13 so divide this by 13 and I get 1 26 divided by 13 is 2 now I have 1 times 7 is 7 and 2 times 2 is 4 that is an improper fraction so we must make it into a proper or to a mixed number and we get one whole 4 goes into 7 once subtract that and you get 3 fourths 1 and 3 fourths is your answer these are pretty easy but they're also very easy problems to make some simple mistakes on so again this is why I always tell you rewrite the problem so that it has the division sign in it first then take the reciprocal and change it to multiplication those little extra steps will save you and keep you more accurate uh, for, a, for our correct answer at the end have a great night again if you have questions um, please make note of them and we'll talk about them further tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow and have a great day